Okay, so we're going to look at some examples today. Uh, we're, we're making equations, but we're looking at how we can make those equations using patterns. Um, those could be visual patterns, like we see some right here with toothpicks, or they could end up just being from kind of like a table, um, like an input-output table. So if we look right here at our example, we can see that we've got a couple of different shapes, um, and we could say these are made of toothpicks. Um, so right here, so let's say we've got like shape one, shape two, shape three, and shape four. Um, and so we're going to look at those and we're going to sort of first identify how many toothpicks in each shape. So if we look at shape one, we can see clearly we have two toothpicks. Shape two, we have four. Shape three, we have six. And shape four, we have four on the top and four on the right. That makes eight in total. Okay, so we're looking, what we're looking for right here was we're looking for some sort of a pattern. Um, we can definitely see that pattern if we put them in this table. So if we take one was two, four, six, eight. And we can kind of imagine if we kept this shape going on and on, what it would look like. If we had shape five, we'd have five going up and five to the right, which would make 10. If we had for shape six, we'd have six going up and six going to the right. So that'd make 12. We can see it's pretty much doubling every time. That's the pattern we've got. So if it was, for example, if we skipped ahead to shape number 10, we'd have 20 toothpicks because there'd be 10 going up and 10 going right. If we had this last one, we'd have 40. because so we'd have 20 going up and 20 going to the right. So now we're going to think of, okay, so what would the equation be? Now you can see I've already put a Y right here and an X right here. So we're saying Y represents the number of toothpicks and X is the shape number. So if we were making an equation with Y equals, we'd be basically saying the number of toothpicks equals what do we have to do this shape number? So if I put y equals, I could think about this and I had to take the shape number. And so like this, I would have shape number one had two of those, right? And so we can kind of see the pattern. We would have to multiply whatever it is by two. So if we have three going up or four going up or however many going up, we have the same amount going to the right hand side. So if we wrote our equation, we could just simply say y equals two x. Again, 2x means 2 times x. Um, if we wanted to give up with another way we could say that, we could also put it in terms of x, and we could say like x equals, well, we would have to take the y number, right? So the x is the shape number. We'd have to take y, and we would have to divide that by 2. So that would be y divided by 2. So two different ways we could say it. Usually it's more common. We'll see y equals, but that could totally work. All right, let's look at another example. All right, so in this example right here, we've got um, a similar type of a situation. So let's see, shape one, we've got three toothpicks on the bottom, one on the left, one on the right. That makes five. Shape two, we've got a similar situation. We've got three on the bottom and then two on the left, two on the right, so three, four, five, seven. Shape three, three on the left, three on the right, three on the bottom, that's nine. Shape four, we got four on the left, four on the right, that's eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'm gonna put my values into my input output table. Um, so we start with one shape, we end up with five, seven, nine, 11. Now I wanna sort of think about my pattern as I'm moving forward um, and how that would increase. And, and for this one, we're gonna think a little bit about kind of the two parts, right? So we've got the shape number, which is says shape one, and we could see there's one on both sides. Or if we had shape two, we'd have two on both sides. Shape three, three on both sides. And shape four, four on both sides. And so we could we have that part. So that would kind of be like two times whatever the shape number is. So if I was to put this in, I could say, well, y equals two times x. But there's a little bit more than that. And if we look at this specifically, we could see we could see that we've actually got not, not only two times x, but also I have these three pieces. Now these three pieces stay the same no matter what shape number it is. There's always three pieces added, and that's the bottom piece. So if I'm writing my equation, I can simply say it'd be y equals 2x plus, I'm noticing there's that three always on the bottom. So this would be, we could sort of like say like a two-step equation there's two parts to it. So again, I'm just looking at the shape, trying to figure out the pattern, what's increasing, what's staying the same. 
And so now I'm going to apply that equation y equals 2x plus 3 to my other numbers. So for example, right here for number 5, right, I've got, if I, if I put 5 times 2, that would make the two sides, that would make 10, plus the 3 on the bottom would make 13. Um, if I have the next one, I would have kind of like 2 times 6, which is 12, plus 3, which equals 15. If I was to continue to apply that equation, this equation right here, it's like this one, I'm going to think, okay, well, 2 times 10 plus 3, 2 times 10 is 20, plus 3, that would give us 23. And then the last one, I've got, let's see, we could do 2 times 20, which is 40, plus 3 on the bottom would give us 43. So we can kind of see how we're using this visual pattern to come up with an equation and we're putting it into a table. Now you might also have situations where maybe you're just given a table and you have to figure out, okay, well, what's the equation going to be? So we've got equation number three and equation number four. This time you can see there's not a picture, but it does tell us we've got an X and a Y. And so for our X and a Y, we've got, uh, let's see, zero gives us zero as a Y. So if we input zero as our X, we get an output of zero as a Y. If we input one as our X, we get four as a Y. If we input two as our X, we get eight as our Y. So I'm looking at those and I try to see what the pattern is. Uh, let's see, it's increasing by four every time. We could see the one is being, looks like a multiplication problem here because if we start with zero, we still get zero as an output. Um, so I could definitely multiply. So if I said Y equals four X, and we could just again double check that's gonna work. Zero times four gives us zeros. Four times one gives us four. Four times two gives us eight. So it definitely looks like that pattern is working. So I'm gonna apply it to the rest of them. Four times five would give us 20. Four times six would give us 24. Four times 10 would give us 40. And four times 20 would give us 80. And then our last example right here, we've got one more. We could see zero gives us seven. One gives us eight. 2 gives us 9, 3 gives us 10, 4 gives us 11. So we're going to try to look for what's the pattern going to be right here. And um, we see it's probably not multiplication because we notice that right here 0 turns into 7. So we couldn't be multiplying. We're definitely going to have to be adding some too. And we can see what is the number we're adding each time. Let's see, 1 turns into 8, 2 turns into 9. Oh, so if we look at that, we can definitely see it's increasing by 7. So if we had to put an equation, we could simply say y equals x plus 7. And that definitely works with all the numbers in our table so far. So now I'm going to add 5 plus 7 would give us 12. 6 plus 7 would give us 13. 10 plus 7 would give us 17. And 20 plus 7 would give us 27. So we can see again for all these problems where there's a visual pattern, whether it's just a number pattern, we're trying to figure out what, what is that pattern and how could I put that into a mathematical operation. So that might include multiplying by a number or adding a number or maybe even a combination of the two. So those are kind of what we're doing today. Take a look at the problems. Good luck.